APS teachers, we are so excited to launch Magic School AI in Atlanta Public Schools. We're thrilled to have this resource to help you work smarter, not harder, to create engaging content for your students and to level up instruction. This intro session is going to dive into the why, the what, and how of Magic School AI. We're going to look at the best practices of AI in general, uh, using that in education. We're going to talk about how you can uh, navigate Magic School AI tools, how you can use them, as well as how you can modify the outputs as you're using Magic School AI. We want to look at how you can copy or export those outputs to use those resources, and we'll also look at Raina. We're going to meet Raina, who is Magic School's AI chatbot. As we know, AI is a hot topic these days. And the question might be, why use Magic School AI? Well, first of all, we know that there is, I don't know about you, there's not enough time in the day to do all the things and teachers are definitely overworked and there is a burnout. So the idea that you want to work smarter, not harder uh, is important. We want to be able to save time using uh, AI. It's the, the latest and greatest of technology. And we want to leverage that in the education space. And Magic School AI is actually one of the first tools that leverages AI specifically for educators. And uh, it is an ever-growing resource and tool. So it's super easy to use. And we're going to dive in and take a look. You might be wondering, what is Magic School AI? It is a set of more than 60 easy to use AI powered tools. Uh, if you're familiar with ChatGPT, the idea that you can put in a prompt and get a response using uh, an AI large language model, this is a tool that is leveraging the power of AI, but it's built specifically for educators. What that means is it's going to make it easy for you to go in and look for uh, and create resources for lesson plans where you can easily differentiate instruction uh, to create content that makes it easier for you to communicate. And we're going to dive into what those tools look like. There are a number of ways that Magic School AI can help teachers. First of all, being able to create instructional materials. Uh, there is so much time spent creating instructional materials for students, especially trying to leverage both instructional resources and personalized learning approach. You want to make sure that you can create those resources, including lesson plans, rubrics, and assessments. And Magic School AI helps you with that, making it easier to do and to save time. It helps you with differentiating content, and that's important uh, as we leverage uh, AI to support personalized learning in the district. I also like that it helps with engaging families and communities because you can use it to help you quickly create content to share information with parents or to easily communicate with them. You also can use it to create original content in the sense that you're trying to come up with new instructional lessons or activities based on uh, a particular standard. And it helps you to have uh, the ability to create multiple activities so that you have uh, a, a greater breadth of resources in your toolbox. When using AI tools, you want to be mindful of those best practices. You're going to want to check for bias and accuracy. Just because it generates an output does not mean it is necessarily accurate. Oftentimes, things can be biased because it's bringing in incorrect content because it's coming from a wide um, a repository of information. So you want to double check it and make sure that it is not uh, biased nor that there is an issue with accuracy. Also, you want to use the 80-20 approach. You can use it for your initial work to, to as that jump off, that starting point. So you use the AI tool to start the content or to start the activity, but you're going to want to use your expertise in your content area, you as the expert in the classroom, to make sure that it is appropriate. So that last 20% is you making sure that the resources you're uh, using and the information that you're using from the AI tool is accurate. Uh, your judgment matters. You are the expert. And so therefore you wanna make sure that it, you are adhering to guidelines and expectations, both at the district level and at your school level when using tools um, that leverage AI. Also, you wanna know the, the limits because AI is pulling from a repository of information, those tools, but also you want to make sure that it is accurate because it's only going to be pulling uh, from a certain date. So if you're looking for information that is more curtain, it might not be available. And lastly, but most importantly, you want to be mindful of uh, privacy. You don't want to put any 
uh, personal information, your information, your students' information into the AI tool uh, because that uh, AI tools are mining that data. So you don't want to put in there, for example, your student, John Smith, ha- needs help with his IEP. He has these following issues that he needs support with. You don't want to put anything personal in there that could be um, submitted to that AI model. You are going to be able to access Magic School AI via My Backpack. So you're going to open up My Backpack and search for Magic School AI and click on the link. It's going to use uh, SSO, single sign-on, to access uh, and activate your account. The interface is very straightforward. So when you open it up, you're going to be on the landing page. You'll notice that there is the search capability. So you can search for a particular tool because there are more than 60 tools available. So you can search by the type that you're looking for. For example, newsletter, lesson plan, rubric. You can also view the tools by category by clicking on the category button there at the top. And it's going to help you filter down for the different types of tools available. You can also add your tools to your favorite. This is great. So if you're using the lesson plan tool regularly or the rubric tool regularly, you can choose to add that to your favorites. And you can also search through the list by just um, searching in that toolbar there as well. This is a self-paced overview of Magic School AI. So hopefully you're logging in and clicking around and trying this for yourself. So you can use the categories button to view the tools that interest you. Uh, You can also add a few of those tools to your favorites. Try the search bar and scroll through the list to kind of see what tools are available. A fantastic way to figure out what exactly a tool is and what it does Uh, In terms of picking one, the example here is the lesson plan. If I click on lesson plan, I can click on the exemplar. And when I click on that, it's actually going to generate what an output would look for a lesson plan. You can go through the process of selecting the grade level. Um, It's already pre-populating. You'll see here grade level, topic, um, as well as additional criteria. And when you click uh, generate, it's going to generate that output. And you can see what exactly it would look like creating a lesson plan. So let's take a look here. We've generated an output. You can take a look at this one and it has uh, the, this one is for a plant cell activity, uh, plants uh, and animal cells. So you can see that it's given us our uh, output here and I can see that it's step-by-step guide for a lesson plan. It's got that key Uh, points for that activity, the assessment that would be included, suggested uh, ideas for differentiation. Um, You're going to look at this and you can see, all right, what's good about this? And again, you're you're using this as a jump off point. So you could choose to use part of this lesson activity and blend it with an existing lesson activity that you already have. Or this might be um, a starting point and you can also choose to regenerate if you want to get additional suggestions. Here is an excellent opportunity for you to pause this overview and try it yourself. Go in and choose a tool that you might want to learn more about and click on that exemplar button. Take a look and see uh, what that output looks like. Maybe you're choosing an IEP example, or maybe you're interested in a multiple choice assessment. Pick one of those, choose the exemplar, and see what you get. So what you can do is you can actually go ahead and take a look at your summary and you can choose to modify if you want. You can get the summary of your output. You can change the length of your output. You can generate questions associated with your output. You can even translate your output. So this is great. So if you're trying to create a resource, initially it's in English and you want to translate it to uh, Spanish or French, um, it's a great opportunity to do that. Uh, Then you can go in and you can actually copy that output and bring it into a Google Doc, a Slides, um, and then you can modify it and enhance it uh, as you see fit. You'll notice to the right of your output, you have the ability to copy it or export it. So in the free version of Magic School AI, you can just copy it into a Google Doc or into a Microsoft Word uh, document. Now you have the ability with uh, Enterprise, which we have now available in the district, you can export it to many different platforms. So you can choose how you want that exported. Do you want it to go to, directly to a Google Form? Do you want it to go directly to a Google Doc? So it's definitely a one-click, easy output option. Pause this overview and try it yourself. Go ahead and copy and paste or export your output. 
uh, and see how that output looks in that export option. If you're familiar with using tools like ChatGPT or Copilot, where you're going in and asking a prompt and having an ongoing conversation, this is Reina. Reina is the chatbot that is built into Magic School AI, and she has been trained for educational purposes. So that means that she's going to help you as you go in and ask questions for what are some ways that I can differentiate content on a particular topic, or what are some ways that, are, that I can enhance an activity, or what are some misconceptions my students might have regarding a topic. So you can go in there and explore her suggestions. Here's an excellent opportunity for you to explore on your own. Here's a scavenger hunt, challenging you to explore favorite tools that you will save, help you save time uh, that you would most likely use in a typical day. Maybe you try to find three different tools that you want to use that, uh, and look at the exemplar to see um, if it's something that you would like to use in your classroom, try it yourself. Find a tool that will support students and their varying abilities. So see if you can find something that will support differentiated instruction and see if there's even maybe a tool that will make you laugh. So pause right here and explore a little bit. If you'd like to dive in and learn a little bit more, there's actually three different certifications, level one, level two, and level three, that will let you do a deeper dive into getting familiar with Magic School AI. The link to that professional development is in the bottom of the screen there, but also will be available in the link to this video. So go ahead and explore and dive in. Here are a few of the top ways that you can leverage Magic School AI to support you in the classroom. Number one, a rubric generator, saving time and helping you to develop assessment tools to support your learners. There's uh, academic content generators across uh, Magic School AI. So you're looking for content specifically for your class, math, science, social studies, ELA, art, PE, all contents are supported. The email responder is a great tool to help you craft responses to parents or community or other stakeholders. And I also like this one, the AI resistant assignment suggestions. Teachers right now are being concerned about whether or not students are using AI to generate their homework responses. You can leverage AI to actually give you suggestions of ways you can create assignments that require students to think and are AI resistant. Here are some great suggestions for back to school, uh, helping you create your syllabus for your course or a classroom newsletter to inform uh, parents, families, and other stakeholders about what's going on in your classroom. You can use it to create those text-dependent questions or for a little humor as you kick off the school year, maybe a teacher joke generator. Specifically for science teachers, there are a number of tools, but three that we want to call out here are the three-dimensional science assessment generator, the 5e model science lesson plan generator, so it's going to be in that format of the 5e. There's also the multiple explanations for complex concepts. So you can go in there and actually produce uh, some explanations to help understand those complex concepts. For our math teachers, there are specific tools that you can tap into in Magic School AI, including the Math Spiral Review Generator, the Math Story Word Problems, Data Table Analysis Generator, and Make It Relevant. I really like that Make It Relevant, so it's helping them understand how that math connects in the real world. Some of my favorite tools are geared towards special education teachers. There's an IEP suggestion generator. This allows you to uh, get support for creating IEP goals. I love that there's the accommodation suggester. So depending on different activities, what would be some good accommodations to support your diverse learners? There's a text leveler tool, which will help you adapt any text for any grade level to fit your student's reading level. And there's a text scaffolder tool as well. So these are great tools for special education, but really these are tools that teachers across the contents and across grade bands can leverage to support their diverse learners. One of the most popular tools is the rubric generator. This is a quick, easy to use tool that you can build an assignment rubric by putting in the criteria for a particular task or assignment and click generate. 
you can modify it by copying it into a Google Doc or a Microsoft Word document and modifying it or jazzing it up to meet the needs. This is a great way to quickly take one rubric and make copies or modifications so that you can have various rubrics to support your diverse learners. We've been talking about all the different tools that you can use to create content in Magic School AI. The academic content generator is the opportunity for you to specify the content area that you are looking for activities and resources. So you can go in and customize it based on your grade level, the particular content, and the particular standard that you want to generate an activity lesson plan for. I don't know about you, but I spent a lot of time replying to emails. The email responder is a great tool for classroom teachers as well as our administrators to quickly and personally respond in a timely manner to emails. So this is a great tool to leverage as you're replying and communicating with various stakeholders. Another great tool to explore is the IEP suggestion generator. You can create a draft of an IEP complete with the goals and accommodations. If you'd like to learn more ways that teachers are using Magic School AI, check out the Magic School AI Wall of Love. Uh, the link's there on the screen and it will be in the description of this video if you would like to learn more ways that you can leverage Magic School AI.